It can be hard to make a new friend. Maybe you're starting a new job, a new college, elementary school, or high school. You have big dreams for the future. You want big accomplishments. What can guide you on your way to success? Friendships. Friends are important. Great friends provide support, happiness, motivation, and comfort. How do you build strong, rewarding new friendships? My name is James, and for most of my life, I have been shy. You could say introverted. As a child, I liked activities that I could do by myself, like violin, guitar. Art and Legos. I loved Legos. I also liked playing basketball by myself, and I struggled making new friends until an eight-year-old boy showed me how to easily make new friends, like a magnet who attracts them. When I was eight years old, 2018, I would go to the Lego store every single weekend. And each week they would have a new theme for building. One week's theme was cars. I loved cars, especially the complex hypercars, which have crazy designs and modifications to make them go really fast, and they look sleek. I was so excited as mom drops me off. I walk into the mall, head down, don't know anyone, find an empty table. And I start building my dream car, the McLaren P1. I've got the wheels, the chassis. I'm working on the engine. When I hear, "Hi, I'm Ryan. What kind of car is that?" I ignored him. Didn't look up. "Hi, I'm Ryan. Can I sit next to you? I can help you build that car, or I can start my own. What's your name?" I finally opened up a bit and said. Yeah, you can sit here. My name is James. I'm building my very own McLaren P1, one of a kind hypercar. Ryan and I started chatting, then building and having lots of fun. A friendship had started. Hey, that only took five seconds. Next week, Wednesday in science class, our teacher Miss Lam has a set of magnets. And she shows us that a magnet has the natural ability to either repel or attract. Let's say this magnet is repelling, and this one is attracting. Now, as you can see, this magnet is trying to avoid contact with the other, just like how I was in the Lego store. Now, see what happens. There is no connection. Although this magnet is trying to interact and build the connection with this one, it is too shy or reluctant. But if we switch this magnet to its original side or magnetic personality, a connection is made. This was a light bulb moment for me. I thought of Ryan. Do you ever wonder how to best approach someone new? Do you hide your personality? When two people share the same passion, they can either decide to ignore each other and do it by themselves, or they can choose to use their magnetic personality and talk to each other about their mutual passion and make a connection. I realized Ryan. Decided to be his magnetic self. When I was feeling shy, Ryan kept talking to me, interacting with me until my energy was manipulated to be more magnetic. I was motivated to share my opinion about the topic we loved. This was the reason why we started hanging out with each other every single weekend. After that, we were like two magnets. That had a bond with each other. I've always been shy and introverted, but 
What if I choose to use my magnetic side? Ryan had tried so hard to build a connection and make a new friend with someone who had a similar interest. And he did. Can I do the same? Is it that simple to make a new friend? While I thought about that, I headed towards the basketball court at my school. I've always wanted to try basketball, but I've been too shy to ask one of the players if I could play. I always practiced there, all alone, by myself. That day I stood on the sidelines, hoping someone would ask me to join. After a while, no one did, and I just could not stand it anymore. I got up and asked if I could join the game. That day, I decided to be like Ryan. I thought to myself, I can choose to switch on my magnetic side and make a new friend. At the same time, I knew I could have experienced rejection, but I can only change myself and hope for the best. That day, I started walking up to players, asking if I could join. Hi, I'm James. Can I play? He responded with, of course you can, James. By the way, I'm Lawrence. It took some time, but I made one friend, then another, and I kept improving at the sport I loved. Hey, that only took five seconds. I work at my sport and also make new friends. I built connections with people who shared my passion. This was the moment I realized, no matter where I am, I am never alone. All I gotta do is go seek the company by being my magnetic self. Today, I am 12 years old. I'm the same James as when I was before, except I'm not shy and introverted. I still play basketball, but not by myself. I now have a regular group of friends who I can share my passion with. Plus, I know how to turn on my magnetic personality, how to make a new friend. Being your magnetic self is not something only extroverts or outgoing people can do, but it is rather a skill that can be acquired by anyone, even me. I'm going to high school in September, and I feel ready for the next stage in life. I used to be anxious about high school, but now I'm confident that I will make new friends on my way to success, no matter what the situation is. Today, I encourage you, think about someone you want to meet. Maybe it's a neighbor, a classmate, or even an eight-year-old boy building a McLaren hypercar in the Lego store. I realize for all the moments I make a new connection, it only takes around five seconds. So I encourage you to take that five courageous seconds and make a new friend. I wish you happy connecting.